Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and today I'm gonna to be doing a review for you on the Just Peachy Diaper. Now I saw these first on Instagram and saw how just like unique they were. So I reached out to the company to talk a little bit more about the diapers and they told me about their ambassador program, which I signed up for. And that allowed me to get a diaper to review for you guys as well as a discount code. So if at the end of the video, you are really enjoying the features of this diaper, I will leave the discount code in this video for you guys to use. And then it also allowed me to get new products that Just Peachy is releasing to test them out and I can bring that information to you guys as quick as possible. So that was another reason for me joining the ambassador program. But I am super excited to bring this review to you guys because like I said, this diaper is super unique. So let's get right into the features of this diaper. So first of all, these diapers fit from about six to 40 pounds. That is what the website says. Um, and they cost a total of $34.75. Now in that cost, this diaper is included, which we'll get into the features of this, but there is also a long hemp insert here that is included and they call this their hemp insert. It's four layers of 55% hemp and 45% cotton. And then they also give you this newborn bamboo insert with it as well. And this newborn insert is, it says three exterior layers of 70% bamboo viscose, 30% cotton, and then one interior layer of 100% polyester. So you get the two inserts and then the diaper for $34.75. And again, we'll talk about that a little bit more later, but let's get right into the features of the diaper itself. So here we have, let me see if I can get this clearer. We have a three by four rise setting. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. And then we have, so these are actually stretchy tabs. So you can see the stretch here. And then on the tabs, we have the hip, waist, and leg snaps. And then we have a crossover snap here. And then when we open this diaper up, You'll see that the front along the waist here has a little bit of a different snap pattern. Let's see here. So there's two center snaps in the middle here and then the second row here is staggered. And then we have a tummy elastic in the front. When we go to the inside, we have a micro fleece lining. And you can see here they have double leg gussets. So this light gusset here, you can see is kind of like the material on the Thirsty. So it's super gentle. Actually, I think this is just a tad bit softer than the Thirsty's gusset material. And then you have the second gusset here, which is just like a normal pocket gusset. And then you can see here that there is the slit opening in the back here. And then inside of that, we have a snap. So this could be a pocket diaper or an all in two, a pocket diaper if you just wanna throw the insert in there without snapping it, and an all in two if you wanna snap that insert on in there. And then in the back here, we have a very big back elastic. And I don't think the camera does this back elastic justice. And when I say very big, it's very big. So I have another pocket diaper here. So this is considered a big back elastic for pocket diapers. Normally they're thinner. And to just give you a little bit of a comparison, it is big. <laughs> so I wanted to mention that as well. But let's get into my thoughts about this diaper. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the things that I love about this diaper. The first thing being I love the three by four rise settings. As you guys know, that allows for a good customized fit for the smaller kiddos and then a bigger fit for your bigger kiddos. And then on the tabs here, I do love the crossover snaps. So this one only has one, but it still functions the same as any other crossover snaps. And I also love, love, love tummy elastics. So I truly think that tummy elastics give you that more customized fit around the belly. 
So I do really enjoy the tummy elastics. Another thing that I love about these diapers is the leg elastic. Now, I don't really have a preference for double gussets in a pocket or all in two. I, it doesn't really matter to me if it's double gusset or not, but I do love the material they used on the leg elastic, the one that touches baby skin and is right up against baby skin because it is super soft and gentle. Like I said, this is a material like the Thirsties elastic, but it is just a tad bit softer. So I do really enjoy that. And another thing that I absolutely love is the back elastic. This super thick back elastic is awesome at containing poop. I'm normally someone who prefers that double elastic pocket opening just because poop would have to go through both elastics before escaping the diaper. But with this diaper, the poop really has to escape this massive elastic back here, which I've never had any problem with. So I do really enjoy the thick back elastic. I also think that instead of the thinner back elastics that can be a little more rough on baby skin, the thick back elastic is a little more gentle. So that is another reason why I love that thick back elastic. And of course, I didn't mention, but I love the stretchy tabs. I feel like between the large back elastic, the tummy elastic in the front here, and the stretchy tabs, you get a very customized fit on baby just because everything is working so well together around the waist of baby to get you a perfect fit for your baby. So I really do enjoy those features together. And I didn't mention, but this diaper, because it has the stretchy tabs, the tummy elastic and the back elastic, these diapers are able to be pulled up and on to your child, basically like a pull up. And that was something that really caught my attention when looking at these diapers on Instagram and their website was the fact that these are able to be pulled up and onto baby like a pull up. So I really did like that feature and function of this diaper. But since I've talked about the things that I really enjoy about this diaper, let's talk about some of the things that I'm not so much a fan of. But while I say that, there are gonna be families that prefer these features. It doesn't mean that these are not gonna be a good fit for another family, which I will talk about a little bit later in the video. So something that I'm not necessarily a fan of is the snap configuration. So I'm someone who just likes to have this leg snap in line with the waist snap because I always like adjusting the hip snap first and then snapping the waist and leg snap and just the way that it's configured is kind of odd. I always like to snap diapers from like the outermost snap to the innermost snap and it just kind of threw me for a loop because that's not what I'm used to. Now, I won't say that I don't like it. It's something I'm not used to. So that is why it is a little bit of a con for me. But again, it's something so small. It's a little ridiculous, I know. But that is just what I'm used to. So it was a little off-putting to me. So that is why I wanted to share that. Now, when we go to the inside of the diaper, I am just not a fan of micro fleece. I would rather have an athletic wicking jersey, but the micro fleece also isn't something that's a deal breaker for me. I just prefer the athletic wicking jersey. Another thing I prefer to have is a tummy panel along the front here because Grace is a tummy sleeper and I just worry about wicking. Now wicking has never happened with this diaper and I attribute it to the front tummy elastic here because it sits a little in more if that makes sense. So it curves in a little bit more. So that is why I think we've never had a wicking issue, but I do like that tummy panel just for extra peace of mind that there is not gonna be any wicking issue ever. You know, I'm just an anxious person in general. So anything that gives me a little bit of a doubt can worry me. So that is why I prefer the tummy panel. Again, we've never had issues with wicking, but I did wanna mention that I am someone who does prefer a tummy panel. Now, when when we move to the back of the diaper here this pocket is right in the middle of where grace pooped so while it is still near the top we had poop issues and so i would have poop going up and in so the poop would cover the top here also the top up here and then the middle of the poop would be 
on the insert and then I would worry about the poop getting into the pocket so then I would have to turn the pocket inside out so it was just not a good diaper for pooping for Grace and I always tried to put it on her when I didn't think she would poop and of course she would end up pooping and then we would just have a situation where I was worried because the poop was obviously inside the pocket already and I didn't want to leave extra poop pieces in the diaper so I would have to turn the diaper inside out to completely clean the whole thing. So I wanted to compare this pocket where this pocket sits compared to another pocket diaper that has a slit in the back, just so you can kind of see for reference where the pocket sits. So I'm gonna hold two diapers up by the elastic so you can see where the slit starts. So you can see on this diaper here that the slit starts a little bit up further than the slit on this diaper. And then you can see this one coming down. Now I've never had issues with it coming down when it's on Grace because I can easily tuck the flap underneath the back part here. So I've never had issues with that one coming down while it's on Grace. Whereas this one, it doesn't have a flap to like secure the other portion, if you get what I mean. Like this is just an open slit. So while I tried tucking this part under this, it always just comes undone and like flaps around while it's on Grace. So that was the problem I had with the pocket. Now this could be a me thing. And if you use disposable liners, this will not be an issue for you at all because obviously that liner would go over the pocket opening here. So you wouldn't have the issue. And that was something that I thought about doing, but I'm just personally not someone who likes to use liners. And when I did, they would move around. So again, this pocket just doesn't work for us. So that was something that I wanted to mention about this diaper. So overall, I really enjoyed using this diaper when Grace would pee for pooping. This isn't the diaper for us. And I did wanna mention that even though this isn't a diaper that is necessarily for us, there could be people who would absolutely love this diaper. And I'm saying if you're using elimination communication and your baby doesn't really poop in diapers, this would be a great fit for you because of the stretchiness of pull on and pull off. And you don't have to worry about the poop getting in the back there. So again, if you're doing elimination communication, this could be a great diaper for you. Also, if you're potty training, this could be a great diaper. Say your baby only has pee accidents, this would be a great option for you. Again, the pull on, pull off feature is absolutely amazing and you don't have to worry about that pocket opening. So I think in certain situations, this would be an awesome diaper. For us, it just doesn't work for our family, that's all. So I wanted to share the features of that with you and just my opinion on it. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the inserts. So like I said, we have a newborn insert, which is again, three exterior layers of 70% bamboo viscose and 30% cotton with one interior layer of 100% polyester. And then we have the hemp insert, which again is four layers of 55% hemp and 45% cotton. Now let's talk about the newborn insert first. So as you can see here, this is a pretty sizey insert for a newborn insert. There is just a little bit of a weave going on here. And then in the back, we have the snap to snap it inside the diaper if you wanna use it as an all-in-two. But this insert, I didn't get to try because it does have microfiber in it. Now, although I don't know, I don't think it would affect Grace because of how soft and just fluffy this is. There feels just to be a ton of materials in here. I know it says it's four layers. But just the fluffiness of it, I don't know if it would affect her, but I'm also not going to give it a try because I don't want her getting a rash. But this is a very fluffy insert. Now, for the size of it, it is a sizey insert for a newborn insert. And to give a reference, I have a thirsty size 2 insert here. So this is not the thirsty size one. This is the larger of the thirsties inserts. When you put it in back of here, you can see that the thirsties insert is longer, but it's not all too much longer than this newborn insert here. So for a newborn insert, I would consider this a long insert. And also not only the length, but this is also I'm trying to get it to line exactly up on the side here. This insert is also wide. 
so you have extra width along the side here as well so it's not only long but it is wide as well so i did want to mention that for a newborn insert it is big it does work on this diaper in the smallest setting and it does completely fill the diaper out now i do have a problem getting the width of the diaper to sit completely flat in a diaper but again lengthwise it does fit on the smallest setting in the diaper but again, I have not tried this, but it is super soft and I do believe it will hold a decent amount of liquid with how soft and fluffy it is. Now, as far as the hemp insert goes, so this is the other insert that this diaper comes with. Now, while that insert is long for a newborn insert, again, I'm gonna take my thirsty size two insert and put it up against here. This insert is very long and the width of it, let me see if I can line it up here, is also very wide. So when I go to stuff this hemp insert into the diaper, I will show you, we are on, we are fully snapped out on this diaper, completely snapped out. And then when I go to put the insert inside of the diaper, which I will show you here. So we are all the way up at the top of the diaper. Like the insert meets the tummy elastic at the top here. And I'm gonna pull, get this insert to kind of lay as flat as I can. So with this insert being as long as it is and as wide as it is, I have some trouble getting the insert to lay properly. So I have to really like wiggle this insert around to get it to, to lay right. And there's a part in the crotch here where it gets a little bit trim and then widens out at the back. And that is the part where I kind of really have a little bit of trouble getting it to lay flat. And I don't want it to be bumpy when Grace sits on it. And then at the back here, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna try to get it to lay as flat as possible before I show you. The insert, it, it meets the back here, but it also, okay, so the insert is all the way up at the front here, like I told you guys. So there is even some overlapping the tummy elastic down here. If you can see, it's kind of overlapping a little bit. But then at the back here, it's also overlapping the back elastic a little bit. So it's a little bit too long for the diaper. And I imagine as I keep using this and keep using it more, the hemp would shrink. But as it comes with this diaper, on the largest setting, it is hard to get it to fit properly, at least for me it is. Now we have had this diaper for a little bit now and it's been through many washes and I'm still having a little bit of trouble. But again, I think as we were to continue using this diaper, it would shrink up. When I'm having a hard time to get it on the largest setting, it's gonna be even more difficult to stuff that insert into this diaper when it is snapped down. So I, when we started using this diaper, we were a rise snap down and I really had difficulty getting the insert to sit right because I had to fold the insert a little bit to get it to fit the diaper properly. And then I had to, it, it was just a lot of trying to get the insert to fit properly. And I would kind of have to wiggle it around for a little while just to get it to feel not clumpy in there. So I did want to mention that as far as the insert goes, but I have to say that I do love the absorbency of the hemp insert. When this insert was in Grace's diaper, I never had to worry about leaks or anything like that. This insert can hold a lot of fluid. So that was something that I really enjoyed about this insert. While it might be long, it's also really beneficial that you can fold this insert down. So you could fold it down in the front here if your baby's a front wetter and then stuff it in the pocket. Again, when I did fold it down, I just had trouble getting it to lay flat and with the width of the diaper, I just had a little bit of trouble. Again, I think with more uses and more washes, this will shrink a bit more and fit the diaper better. But just for me, when stuffing, I did have to play around with it a little bit. 
but overall I really 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 enjoyed the absorbency of this insert. But that wraps up my thoughts on the Just Peachy Diaper. Now, if you've ever tried a Just Peachy Diaper, I am so curious to see your thoughts and opinions on this diaper. Like I said, I think this is an awesome diaper for those using elimination communication and potty training, especially with those pull up and pull down features. I think this is awesome. I also wanted to mention that Just Peachy is part of 1% for the planet which I absolutely love. And they are also asking their customers if there are places that their customers really enjoy donating to because they're looking for options as far as donations go. And I know that post was posted up a little while ago, so they may have found somewhere, but they do take the customer suggestions into account and I really do love that. But if you guys have tried a Just Peachy Diaper, make sure to leave in the comments your opinions. I'm super curious to see what you guys think of these diapers. What do you love? What do you not love? Leave Leave it down in the comments down below. As you guys know, I think it's super important to get as many opinions as possible because like I said, these diapers may not be the best fit for our family, but they certainly may be a perfect fit for another family. And that's why I need your guys' opinions down below. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys soon.